네, 어, 지금 뭐 여러분들 다 아시겠지만 굉장히 황당한 사건이 폭스바겐에서 벌어졌죠. 네, 그 폭스바겐에서 치러지는 첫 번째 행사입니다. 어, 그러다 보니까 지금 새로운 사장이 지금 일본에 날라왔고요. 새로운 사장이 죄송하다는 말을 한 다섯 번 정도 반복했습니다. 새로운 폭스바겐이 되겠다. 기존보다 훨씬 더 나은 폭스바겐이 되겠다. 정말로 진심으로 잘못했다. 이런 얘기를 계속 반복했어요. 어, 그리고 나서 어, 기자들에게 저렇게 둘러싸여 있습니다. 네, 저 조금 전에 어, 저 들어와서 같이 취재를 했지만 어, 굉장히 기자들이 나이선 질문들을 계속 합니다. 너왜 속였어? 왜 어떻게 속였어? 속여서 어떻게 했어? 뭐 이런 식의 계속 아주 직설적이고 공격적인 질문들을 쏟아내는 기자들도 있었고요. 약간 우회적으로 쏟아내는 기자들도 있고 어쨌든 이 자세한 내용은 이 자막을 통해서 한번 살펴보시도록 하시죠. So what's been happening on the emission uh, fix? How uh, our first priority is really to fix the problems. At our customers' uh, engines, we have uh, the whole company dedicated to this. We are working day and night, uh, every weekend, to solve the problems. We have plans which have been confirmed so far by the European authorities. We uh, hope to get confirmation of our plans to fix with the American authorities within the next few weeks. And then we will work with full uh, power and dedication to solve the problems with our customers. In many cases, it will be a software update. In some cases, there might be some minor hardware changes at the cars. We've heard that there will be some sort of uh, uh, cutting down of budget of Volkswagen on account of this. Uh, is that true? Can you confirm that? And if yes, what's uh, we, it? We uh, looked at our investment budgets. We will keep all our product and innovation programs running, but we postponed some infrastructure uh, projects which we had in our plans. So that's where the million euro saving came from. Yes, that's, that's right. What about India, Volkswagen India plans? Are they intact? How confident are uh, we? Are very, we are still uh, very uh, optimistic and uh, uh, interested in India. We think Volkswagen has a great potential there. Also, the diesel engine, which is highly relevant uh, in India, plays a major role also in our future. We will fix the diesel engines. We still believe in the future of diesel engines because they are in the trade-off of emissions and CO2. They are a very good option for many vehicles. Uh, and uh, so the, also we decided to equip all our diesel engines now with the latest SCR technology at Blue Technology as soon as possible. So even in America, you're confident you can retain your market share with diesels? 25% you know, of the cars will sell there with diesels. Surely they won't. We will. Our first priority is really sell. now to look at the customers, fix their problems, uh, recover, uh, recover confidence, and then we look ahead uh, uh, how we're going to, uh, what we're going to do in the American market, which is uh, for sure the, the so when, biggest challenge. Will you consider buybacks? Uh, it's too early to say that because uh, at, uh, at the moment we are uh, uh, hopeful and, and we believe that we can fix all the cars. Without any, without any detriment to performance or economy? Uh, we will, we are, that is, the, that is the target, we are very confident to achieve that for most of the cars. Uh, in some uh, uh, cases we are still working on this. Yeah, I guess if you've got to add SCR to the car, it's almost cheaper to buy it back if it's an old car. I think it's it's too early to really consider all the options. We are we have to we need the confirmation of the American authorities for all. We have different uh, car types, different uh, engine types in America. Uh, we will finish that uh, uh, evaluations until the end of the year, and uh, then we will we will be uh, able to really determine which car has uh, what kind of fix. Most of the fleet we are fixing, we are sure that can be fixed by software. So do you expect the operating loss for Volkswagen during this fiscal year? That's also too early to, to comment on. We made some provisions for what happened, and uh, this later through the year that will further develop. Have you noticed any impact on sales so far? Uh, it, that, that varies from country to country. In some countries we didn't see any effects. Uh, uh, in, in other countries we have a reduced order intake on diesel engines. Which countries are known? Uh, we have uh, strong sales ongoing still in Germany. We had uh, exceptional good sales still in America, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, and uh, Not of diesel engines, but uh, of sales in general. Uh, but I was referring to diesel uh, engine order intake. It was it was high in Germany. Most of the European countries, we have uh, a little uh, reduction in the UK, 
uh, and also in some of the southern European countries. But I think it's too early to judge that. You know, that will also uh, change over the weeks. The most important is for us to fix the problem, to, uh, to really uh, get in contact with all our customers that they, they can feel safe about what's going to happen with their car. Their cars are safe, they are uh, legal, they are drivable, and we have to, most of the cars, we have to do a software update and then the cars are perfectly fine again. But you, you feel that, sorry, just to confirm, you said that the, you are confident you've got a fix in Europe, it's just a case of getting regulatory approval for that fix now. Oh, we have got, let's say for our plan, we have got regulatory approval. Now it's approved by the European uh, uh, legislation authorities. Uh, the plan is improved. It will be tightly followed up. Uh, basically, every other week we have uh, a meeting with the German authorities to prove that, uh, that we are on the way. Uh, and we are closely monitored, but we are confident that uh, we, we can uh, perform this plan, uh, which will lead us to fix all the engines. Uh, you, next you were leading as number one player uh, globally uh, in the first half of this year, but after this, you know, it's uh, clear that you will not be able to retain that position. It's probably too early to say that. No, we have uh, uh, we haven't lost uh, uh, many order intakes in, 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 in the country. It's too early to say. That. Are you still confident of getting that number one position? You know, our first priority now is really to fix the problems with our customers. Market share and everything else is really second. The car that the emissions fix, or rather not, not the fix, but the defeat device that you had in Europe must have been different from the defeat device you had in America because it's working on a different test. So just one piece you know, the, the, the basic problem is, or the basic challenge is, uh, is the same in Europe and all over the world, that all the specifications for the cars are bound to, let's say, a rolling road test and a rolling road cycle. This cycle is different in America and in Europe. You know, the cycle in America is a bit faster, in Europe it's a bit slower, it's more of an urban <coughs> cycle in, in Europe. But the general problem is that uh, the, all the legislation is, let's say, really torn towards uh, the, the cycle emissions. So the basic problem that uh, the cars didn't comply off-cycle with the on-cycle emissions is, is basically the same. But they were completely the different cars, calibrations. The cars, in the the cars are different, it's different uh, software setup and different emission controls. Yeah, yeah, so it wasn't just a couple of guys in a lab doing one American test. It is the same, the same problem in America and in Europe. Can you elaborate how many people are suspended by the company? Sorry, I missed that. Can you elaborate how many people that, um, how many people Volkswagen has suspended over the Suspended? We are not giving figures in fact at the moment because it's a legal investigation yeah. and we will have um, some results very soon and then we can communicate. Because yeah. it's a legal operation, yeah. we cannot make any official statement about numbers and names of persons involved. Sorry, have you spoken more to Congress because the Congressional Inquiry was asking for results in the Supervisory Board Inquiry? Have you communicated those results to the Supervisory Board? Do you think, you know, uh, electrifying all those, those, car, those platforms are very versatile. They can use basically any engine from diesel to gasoline uh, to hybrid uh, to mild hybrid to plug-in hybrid and the Golf, you know, is as well available as a fully electric car. But there is a constraint in range at the end, and if you think about the future where electric cars will be more prominent, will have higher volume, then it's probably a good uh, uh, decision to really uh, dedicate one platform for the whole group for electric cars in the compact segment, now, which could then cover all the brands, you know, from Volkswagen, Seat to uh, uh, Audi and the other cars, which would cover the compact segment, which is from Golf, a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, and which would cover the ranges from, let's say, 300 to 500 kilometers. And it's much easier to, ma to make really uh, uh, full use of the uh, electric technology if you dedicate a platform to it. We are, have enough scale to dedicate one of our platforms to electromobility. So one platform for all Right. Right. Yeah, all so, no, we have. Yeah. So we we are talking now to di two different. Uh, we have the C class where let's say Audi is launching a car, uh, uh, the uh, Porsche is launching a car. We have decided that the Phaeton will, will go onto this platform. But for the compact segment, we are working on a versatile electric platform for the whole. Group.
And that decision was, was taken after the uh, initial issue erupted? In I wouldn't say off. There was a lot of dis discussion already ongoing, but uh, uh, as we have to refocus what we are doing, and you know, we have the big discussion on the combustion engine, not only within Volkswagen, but there's a general discussion in Europe about RDE, so uh, the real driving emissions. So the, um, the electric car gets just more attractive yeah, months by months because the emissions are getting more expensive for the conventional cars. Uh, the limits are, are coming further down. Also, the batteries are getting uh, cheaper. Uh, the charging infrastructure is getting richer in most of the countries. Though the, the, the rationale for investing stronger in electric cars becomes clearer uh, every month. So you made a, the decision of any MAV platform earlier than schedule because of this? I wouldn't say earlier than schedule. You know, it's, a, it's an ongoing discussion of how far are you going with the existing platform. We also decided that the succession of, succession of this platform will still uh, require a lot of, uh, of let's say, improvement of the car regarding to weight, regarding to uh, mild hybrids, hybridization, more electric range. But over, over that, over in the box that we decided that we also need an electric engine. That's new. And that decision was made uh, in the past weeks. Would it have been made a little bit later or a little bit earlier? I don't know, but we made it uh, basically. Thank you. 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 No, it's basically the same thing. The, the software is detecting whether the car is on the rolling road or it's not on the rolling road, and depending on that, the mapping of the car is different. No? Also, I have to state that the emissions of the car, if you compare those cars, and if, if you, those cars which we have to refit or refix, if you compare those cars to many of the competitors' cars, they are very similar emission-wise. No, they are not worse yeah, emission-wise. It's also probably important to know yeah. That so far uh, um, very little discussed, but the emissions are of those cars are not really worth the NOx emissions or the CO2 emissions. So the NOx emissions. The NOx, we are talking NOx. Emissions. So why use a defeat device at all? <웃음> 뭐 굉장히 뻔한 얘기긴 하지만 그래도 굉장히 진솔하고 자기가 있는 거 모두 아는 거 모두를 다 설명해야 되는 그런 움직임이 보였습니다. 앞으로 어, 폭스바겐이 달라질 거다라는 그런 마음가짐은 분명히 하고 있는 것 같아요. 근데 어떻게 왜뭐 이런 구체적인 얘기에 대해서 구체적으로 답해 주진 않네요. 어쨌든 좀더 지켜봐야 될것 같습니다. 아직은 어떻게 말하기는 이르다라는 게 주된 내용이고요. 네.